You know which girl I would marry? Like I've always, I've always had a crush on her. I always thought she was beautiful. I was like, hands down, she would be the girl I would marry. Which was Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba was like the perfect girl for me. Yeah. I was like, she's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Jessica Alba. <laughs> Jessica Alba. Now, which guy would you? F- Welcome back, Time Flies Podcast. Time this is flies. Evan Leal. That's right, man. How was it? How was your week? It was good. Pretty chill week. Yeah. Chill, chill week. Yeah, Dude, yeah. Do you study? I mean, do you study? Or? Yeah, I got midterms coming up. This is a big deal? Yeah. What's uh midterm is like? Midterms like kind of like the middle of the semester. You know, uh-huh. you kind of got like halfway through all your classes, taking your big exams. Then after that, it's kind of like the final stretch before yeah. you're done. Man, yeah. dude. You know, I'm envious of people that can uh, study and stay focused. I never cared for that. Like, yeah. I never had that feeling of just like, fuck, like, I got to get this project done. I'm focused on it. It's stressful. Yeah. This and that. And then it's when you finish it, then it loads off. And then you're like, oh, this is great. I feel like accomplished. I feel like, you know, mm-hmm. I never had that feeling. Mm-hmm. I've always had the, I don't care. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I never felt like that. Well, except for like when I did stand up and specials, mm. I felt what you feel when you accomplish like a midterm. You're like, oh, okay, it's done, it's over. Yeah, you know, I don't gotta worry about it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't gotta worry about it no more. Yeah, I think I'll just get pretty distracted with girls too. Like, mm. class, I'll just be daydreaming over there just in the corner. See, it's it's hard in college because like, in college, all the girls like they don't give a shit. They just want they're there to study to study. Yeah, they're there to, like, you know, for school. Yeah. Whereas, like, high school is a little bit easier because, like, you're all there. You kind of don't want to be there. So you're kind of just, like, fucking around. But in college, like, everybody has a goal. Everybody's there because they want to get shit done. Oh, this is what they want to do. Mm-hmm. They want a degree. Yeah. Yeah. Especially now because it's, like, a... Uh, yeah, if they had a, a comedy class, I would be focused. Yeah. But especially the classes I'm taking, like, these are, like, the the upper division. Like, you're... Yeah, 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 relax. <laughs> no, no. Cause... Upper dumb. <laughs> Next fucking level. No. Uh, <laughs> weak-minded people don't have these no. classes. Uh, people who can't read All or right. can't be here. They're like the the major classes. You know what I mean? You're not. You're not. These aren't like the general ed classes that. Oh every, yeah, like like that every reading one yeah, yeah. That's how you. No, I know nothing about like, <laughs> reading one one. What the fuck is that? Because like the, the first two years, you take that in like your general ed classes, like just like shit, like like every student has to do, like right. English, math, science, and then like kind of like the last two years is like shit you actually want to be there for yeah. like the reason you're at college so it's like you're really like locked in got you you know what i mean yeah i don't give a fuck about any of that yeah like greeting and math and it's like why do i do it then why do they yeah. make them do why do you do it if that's why <sighs> i don't know i mean i guess what are you the, trying to be uh what are you trying to graduate with communications <laughs> dude, guess what dude you graduated because what we're doing right now is communicating. We're fucking communicating right we're now. We're communicating, dude. <laughs> the fuck is Evan? What's going on? You're paying all this money to do this? Yeah. Look yeah. at Aaron's, Aaron, Aaron, Evan's face right now. That he realizes he fucked up. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's yeah. There's you're a, just like there is a lot of useful uh, skills, dude. Oh, fuck. I'm learning a lot of useful skills. As in, how to public like public speaking. Argumentation. I can never, I can never lose an argument now because I know how to argue. Really? It's let's a try class. an argument. It's called argumentation. It's okay, let's try an argument. Let's try an argument. Well, you gotta give me like some prep time. You know, I gotta like. Oh, gather, there's, there's, I gotta gather my. There's resources. no prep time in the real world. I gotta gather my resources, find my facts, prepare a thesis. Oh, you're hitting people with fucking facts. Yeah. I would love to see you and your like a uh, girl like argue and see how that works out. See. Oh, I oh learned. did you argue? I can't wait till you go back home and argue with your parents about something. <laughs> Oh, well, technically, that's not true, Dad, because blah, blah, blah. He's no, just... not even my dad. It's my mom. Your mom? Me and her Ooh. are both so stubborn. You guys bump heads? Yeah. Wow. But, like, not in, like, a, like, we, like, it's like we're both right. Like, no matter what, we're both right, and we're... Do you guys do a lot of agree to disagree? Oh, we're just going to agree to disagree. No, it's more of like... Well, I'm right. You're wrong, but it doesn't matter. You're not going to listen to me, but it's you're wrong. Yes. And you're like, yes. no, mom, that's what it is. Yeah, that's not, but okay. 
Yeah, basically, because like, like, yeah, but it is. It's, but your, it's not, but it is. But it's it's your, not. It's your mom. So you're like, at the end, it's like, you know what, mom? You're right. I'm sorry. You're right, mom. I should have, I'm my fault for even speaking. That's right. Well, <laughs> don't get married, dude. Cause that's exactly what it's going to be like. You're like, oh, okay, I'm just going to fucking never be right. Got it. You know what, though? My mom is always right. I think she has, like, some, like, the weird third sense. Like, she'll tell me things, like, months in advance, and I'll be like, yeah, no, I, I got it figured out. And then it'll be, like, months later, I'll be like, hey, mom, you know, when you said that one thing, you know, like, hey, uh, yeah, 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 you were right about that. And it's happened, like, over and over again. Parents have wisdom. Yeah. Parents are good at that stuff. My dad, too, he chews my ass out on things, and he says things. He says it in a mean way. Yeah. And I'm just like, what the fuck up? Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. You'll just say in such a mean way mm. where i don't care about what he now i'm gonna do the opposite because i'm mad yeah you know yeah. but then i think about it and i'm like he's right yeah he's right i gotta it came from a real place do you have that now now that you're a father do you <laughs> did you get that like that parent sense he's a baby right now so i have nothing for him to like for me to go back and forth like <laughs> to like give him any advice on anything do you have any but like, i think forth? about it sometimes and i'm yeah. like i'm gonna have to give this guy advice <laughs> which is one of the reasons why I want to step my game up because I'm yeah. like, he's not going to listen to me if I'm like struggling as a comedian. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, dad? Get a, you get a job, <laughs> right? You you make sure you're responsible, right? Yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. How am I going to tell him to do his homework if I'm like not completing like writing packets and stuff? He's like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> dad, he just got home at fucking three and woke up at 12. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Still doing bar gigs? <laughs> Step oh, it up, dude. Come on. So I have to like start selling out arenas by the time he's fucking five. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you'll start realizing. Time is ticking. Yeah, that's yeah. when you'll start realizing it. Yeah, that's when I gotta start like I don't know what kind of dad I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be I don't know if I'm gonna be a cool dad or a mean dad. I don't know. I don't know. Cause the more and more like I'm starting to feel like you know, my dad, like our parents just they weren't trying to be dicks. They were just like they're just looking with, out. They were dealing with so much, yeah. And they take their days out on the kids. So yeah. you're like, oh, that's what was going on. Yeah. He wasn't trying to be a dick. He just, just had a shitty day. He has to pay the fucking bills, yeah. and he doesn't have enough money for the rest of the month. And I'm over here like, Dad, can we get like a uh, Burger King? What the? <laughs> Not Burger King. There's food in the fucking fridge. Yeah. So I understand is uh why he snaps so much. Yeah. All right. I just can't picture you as a dad. Not yet. Not yet. No, no, no. God, no. Mm-mm. Well, yeah. No, I just can't picture you as a dad at all. You'll be too fucking chill. Yeah, probably. You'll be like playing the kids like hanging on your chest. I'm fucking playing video games. Playing Fortnite. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll be right there. Uh, Evan, <laughs> can you like, I don't know, like help me click? Uh, what? I'm watching. I'm watching the baby right now. I'm watching. Bitch, him. I was about to snipe <laughs> some guy in the fucking bushes. <laughs> the baby. Ah, you made me. Oh fuck! Wake up, the baby. What the fuck? Yeah, watching movies. You'll be a movie dad for sure. Yeah, you just for pop sure. Pop a movie in, and that's it. Yeah, that'll be you. Watching Rio with your fucking. Watching baby. Rio with my baby. Watching all these cartoon Disney movies. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. all about that. Yeah. It's all so funny, like. It. You know what I really? I'm a big movie guy, and mm. I just I watch a bunch of movies, and I feel like movies can also affect like how you see the world. Yeah. Example, because of Bond movies, like whenever I hear like a foreign accent on somebody, mm. like I identify them as like a bad person because mm. they're always villains. So whenever I hear like a German accent, I'm always like, oh, this guy's gonna he's trying to do something to like, you know, some terrorist shit. Yeah. Right. And never I hear anybody with a foreign accent, I don't trust them. I automatically assume they're bad people. Is it every single foreign accent or like certain Every ones? single foreign accent. Every single one. Have you watched every movie? They're, they're all bad people. They all they make them into bad guys. Yeah. All the bad guys that James Bond is trying to kill have a fucking accent. Yeah. All right? And it messed it up for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like whenever I hear a guy with an Arabic accent, I just terrorist. Wow. Just terrorism. Something bad is going to happen. They're trying to set up. They're trying to bomb something. Wow. I, it's fucked up. That is But that's up. what I think about every time I hear an Arabic accent freaks me out. Mm. They could be saying the most positive thing to me. They're probably saying you're the most funniest guy. And I'm just like, bro, call fucking Homeland Security. <laughs> Holy shit. Shit's about to go down right here. Damn. This guy's at Target. 
and he's about to bomb this place. Wow. Yeah, that's how far I go. I freak out. Mm. I start fucking keeping my eye on him, follow him in the car. Fucking poor guy's just having a day. Yeah. We'll get fucking butt cream because he's... <laughs> You know, <laughs> butt cream. I don't know, dude. I don't know what they do. Yeah. I don't know what they're eating. See, that's I me see with... fucking uh, YouTube videos of what they eat. I'm like, mm, that <laughs> doesn't fucking come out nice. I bet. <laughs> I bet it's if I fucking if chorizo hurts. Damn. That's how I am with Russian people, though. Russian people, Russian accents freak me out. Well, Russians are pretty menacing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they're probably nice people. They're very like dry and direct. Yes, but they're probably nice people, and I'm just like assuming they're bad, bad guys. Yeah, yeah. You know which which with accent I can't take serious though, it's probably like the English accent. Really? Uh, yeah, I cannot take them serious. They, I don't give a fuck if they're gang members or bad guys. I just they're so goofy to me. They're just <sighs> funny. They're silly. They're cute. Mm. You know what I mean? I feel like there's different types of English accents though. Like there 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 is like the the one that's like kind of menacing. Where it's like I don't even know. I don't try even know. it. Try it. All right. <laughs> Try again. Right, all right. Uh, um, oh, I, wait, uh, oh, that's oh. Australian. No, I'm doing Australian accent. Oh, <laughs> no, Australian. No. Okay, like so, like English would kind of be like this, and I would just absolutely murder you. You know? Gotcha. I could. Oh, I could fucking kill you. But if you're talking like this, I, you know, both what I'm of saying, those made me fucking laugh. Both of those <laughs> really? made me want to fucking punch you in the know. face. There's some English accents where I'm like, that's kind of fucking menacing. But there's no, like no. There's, Oh, no, there's nothing menacing about that accent. I, I would do legit, just wow. walk away from it. Get the fuck out of here. If you had a gun, tell me you're going to shoot me. Get the, get the fuck out of here, dude. Wow. I can't take it serious. There's a show on Netflix called Top Boy. I cannot take them serious. And they're all gang members and like drug dealers and this and that. And, they're trying mm. to, and I'm just like, nah, I can't. You know which one? Peaky Blinders. That They're all English, but that's menacing. You ever seen Peaky Blinders with Cillian Murphy? Yeah. I seen a, I seen like two or three episodes and I turned it off quickly because I was what? Like, yeah, it made my balls itch. I was no. bored. I was like, yeah, I'd rather go watch a real American show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Real menacing shit. Go I'd rather go watch Narcos. You read, well, Narcos is not an American show. I thought you were going to say like fucking like Yellowstone or something. No, yeah, American show, yeah, uh, Yellowstone, but uh, Narcos is pretty American, dude. Really? Yeah, fucking the guys who took are taking them down are American as fuck. Mm-hmm. Come on, the, 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 you know, the cops. Yeah. That's what I identify with. What about Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad was awesome. That Breaking was Bad, is that show. menacing? Is that menacing for you? Yeah, it was like kind of believable. A guy yeah. was dying, cancer, wants to take care of his family. Has, you went I'm from the good, danger. You broke bad. Yes. I'm the danger. Yes. When he said that, goosebumps, I believed mm. it. He's killed. Yeah. You believe why he's a menacing person at the end. He was forced to kill. He didn't want to kill, yeah. but he got the taste of blood. Yeah. It, and you know what he said? You know what? I've I've gone past this line. I've been to the dark side. And guess what? I don't need a light here no more. I can live in the darkness. Mm. I can be around the dark spirits. Mm. It doesn't fear me anymore. This guy can sleep without the nightlight. Yeah. Now imagine he can it. live in the dark. Now imagine it if he had an Australian accent. Yeah, I wouldn't take seriously. No. Get out of here. No. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Go and make fucking, I don't know, go make fucking rice cookies or something. <laughs> rice cookies. Sugar cookies, whatever it is. <laughs> whatever they do in Australia. Whatever they do in Australia. Go, go fucking, <laughs> go beat up a kangaroo. <laughs> you know? Go fuck a sloth. I don't know what fuck they're doing Fuck a sloth. There. I don't know what they're doing over there. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, they don't, just like. Doesn't do it. Just like uh, rednecks don't fear me. Mm. A redneck, oh, some bitch, oh, you gonna find out, motherfucker. I'll take my gun out and I'll shoot you in the fucking face. I'm like, they sound cute, but he probably would shoot me in the he face. He probably would shoot me in the face. That's the thing, he probably would shoot me in the face. He probably will shoot me in the fucking face. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, but. I mean, there's certain accents. Do you, do you think. Uh, do you, you have an accent? Me? Do you think you have an accent? I have. Wait, like, do you speak Spanish? I'm a no sabo kid. Oh wow! Yeah. How bad is your no sabo? I can. Jesus Christ! No, nah. I can already tell. No. Nah. Can you order something in? Yeah, I can go to a taco stand and order. What are you ordering? So like the other day, I went and got a burrito. Okay. You know what? Stop! Like... Stop! 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 
A fucking what? I got a burrito. Oh, enough! A burrito? I got, a, said, I got a burrito. A burrito? A burrito. 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 You're saying burrito. 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 No, hombre, este vato. I'm, I'm acting like I speak perfect Spanish, but... Anyways, I went yeah. and got a, the burrito. <laughs> a burrito? I got a burrito. I got me a burr. <laughs> a burrito. A burrito. And, um... Yeah. I was like, uh, one breakfast burrito and con todo... And they're like, they're like, look at me. They're like, what do you want? What do you, what do you want in it? And I was like, I had a picture. I was like, this. And they're like, okay, you want this? this? I was like, yes. And he started you just like, showing them a picture. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. You live like you're a tourist in this country. You're like, oh, this. I don't know how to explain <laughs> my food. This is what I want. It's a really good burrito. Though. What's your favorite like Mexican food? <sighs> pastor. I love al pastor. Really? Yeah. You make wait, you eat a al pastor burrito? No taco. Oh, okay. Okay, Al Pastor, that's your favorite though. Al Pastor tacos are my favorite. Really, the, the yeah. pineapple? I don't, not the pineapple. I like like the the flavor that the pineapple gives it. But like if they were to like how they do like the little tricks where they cut like the top of the pineapple, yeah, yeah, like the, throw it on. The uh, nah, no. But I like the flavor it gives it. But I don't like okay. pi- the pineapple itself. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. My favorite. I like caldos. I like like soups and stuff. Mm. Soups. I like caldo de res. It's like my favorite. I think. And then menudo. Mole. Mole is good. Oh, um. Here we go. Ah, what is better? Po, oh, pozole. Yeah, pozole? you know, I've never been a pozole person. Really? But a pozole started to turn on me. It's starting to like. Like, roll like, like, like you come in, like maybe you have a hangover, like a cold and some like nice. Yeah, you see, like I, don't, I don't need it like that. Green pozole. Like green. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Pozole is red, brother. There's two. There's I know, green, but there's uh, green pozole and red pozole. It's like uh, pozole is red. It's, I'm not with the green. The green, it's like, get out of here. The green is clean, though. Nah, get out of here with the green. I like it. Red. red. The, green, the green is healthier. The red is tastier. The green is healthier. What the fuck about healthiness? You're eating what you're eating. Fuck I'm it. just saying. You know what's a terrible thing to eat, but I love it so much? Carnitas. Oh, mm, my God. Yes. Carnitas, guy? Yes. Is like the best like you taste it, it just it just melts in your mouth. Yeah. It's good. It has a good flavor. It's fucking delicious. But God damn, does it, it have grease? It's so bad for you. It's so bad for you. Put it on a napkin. You smush it. You have all this grease that's still stuck into it. But man, I wish I could just eat that without worrying about any of that. Yeah, my favorite thing that you have carnitas with is like uh, like nachos. Oh, so that's pretty good. Carnitas yeah. nachos. Oh my god. I do a torta, dude. You know, oh, I torta. Like them tortas, dude. The torta. They like me them fucking tortas. You like you, you like you them tortas. Oh, you all like me them tortas now. Stuff them up. <laughs> them shorty bays. I like me them short bays, dude. Fuck. Shorty bay. Shorty bay, dude. No. Bring me that fucking chicken nugget with hands, dude. Damn. <laughs> She's a chicken nugget with hands, you know what I mean? <laughs> shorty bay is like, it's fucking crazy. That girl is those little troll dolls. She, <laughs> let me tell you something. You, you. She's like a, she's, she's definitely like one of those like something that will live like in a dungeon if mm. we were like in the eighteen what is it eighteen hundred like eighteen hundreds like medi- like the medieval times the medieval times she'd be living yeah. in a dungeon she'd that's where like, like people like came up with like goblins and shit yeah shorty bay would be like the person that would create like spells and stuff so like, oh shit <laughs> like a witch yeah like I would like go up to her if I want to cure something mm. she'll have the cure for something. Mm. Like fucking, she'll be, she'll be into weird stuff like sniffing like rabbit butts and stuff, <laughs> and so she's like into it. Like she looks like she enjoys to smell a good fart, you know. <sighs> like she enjoys it. Like some of us are like when we fart, we're like, oh fuck. She probably enjoys the pungent of it. It's like, mm. Mm. I feel <laughs> that's my theory on her, dude. Dude, don't judge me. I'm not. That's <laughs> going on a rant. That's my yeah. fucking daily rant. Yeah. yeah. Shadi Bay likes the farts. She likes the farts. She likes the farts. Gross. Imagine living in the medieval times, dude. That'd be crazy. What do you think your role would be? You know, like you have like I the, think about like, that all the time. like the knights. Like, the, you think you'd be a jester because you're a comedian? You think you'd be like a jester, like a? I don't know. I like think a I court just. Jester? It depends, like how I grew up. If I grew up like, would you be? Would you be a peasant? Whoa! Watch your mouth. Dude. I'm just saying. A peasant, dude. But it's weird because like every time I watch those movies, like I relate so much to the peasant folk. Mm. I feel like I'm living. 
if medieval times is like right now, like the, the like we're the peasants. I am a peasant. Yes. But even though peasants are considered like the bums, right? But yeah. No, we're peasants. No, they're just regular. They're, they're like the regular folk. We're not beggars. No. We're regular folk. We're peasants. Yeah. Right? They fucking, the kings walk by and it's fucking flick a coin. I'm running to it. Mm. 100%. Yeah. You know? If a rapper walks by and throws money, I'm getting, I'm getting yeah, I'm going to get some of those dollar bills. Yeah. So, I don't know. You need to, you I don't, don't know if I want to be one of those, what do you call it? The, the court jester? court jester, like the ones that like make them laugh. Because what if like, at the time, like maybe I, my parents were nicer to me, mm. and I need that attention. That's true. Not that they weren't nice, but they were. I was seeking attention. Yeah. It's middle child. <laughs> you don't understand my life. Maybe uh, I don't know. I don't know how to juggle. Yeah. They weren't telling jokes. They no. Were just fucking... They were making an ass of themselves. They're being a fool. That's the. They thing. Were, they were a fool. They were a fool. I'm not a fool. No. Okay. I'm not going to go in there and just fucking fart and do flips. It's not what I do. No. Got You got it? Yeah. Those were like the fucking TikTokers. Those are the influencers <laughs> up there entertaining us. Yeah. So, I don't know. I wouldn't be that. No. I'd be a wizard for sure. <sighs> I don't believe it. I would be a wizard. Really? What kind of wizard would you be? A good wizard or a bad <sighs> wizard? I would be like the... Like the ones that live like in the crazy like tall towers, you know, yeah. the, the big spiral staircase, uh -huh. just like chilling with my like wizard friends. Gotcha, you, gotcha, you, gotcha. You. you know, and but I feel like I feel like back then like wizards, like I don't believe in that shit. I don't believe like wizardry is like real. Like you don't think that they were actually living amongst us? No, of course. Not. I think back then, like the wizards, it was all it was all like a facade. Facade. They're like con men. You oh, know what I mean? Oh, okay. They would be like. Magi they were like magicians. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like In magicians, like magicians. You think so? They would like curse people, and like with their like wizard spells or whatever, and like the king would think they were like really cool, but like they're really just like, I don't know, just really smart. Just yeah, like, they were just the nerds, huh? Yeah, they're probably the nerds. The wizards were just nerds. Yeah, wizards. I think that the they were just an invention brought or made up by guys who like would get high. Yeah. And then they'll just be like, yo, imagine if there's this guy that can do all that, that can do spells, you know, fucking make you disappear, turn you into like a lizard. <laughs> I'll be sick. <laughs> and they tell these stories and they tell these stories and they said, yeah, one day there was a guy who would live like that. Yeah. And then they tell their kids mm. there was a guy who lived like that back in the day. And it's like, no, some, some guy just got high. Yeah. Maybe ate a couple mushrooms. Yeah. And went on a fucking wizard trip. Wizard trip. That's, that's, what all, that's all it is. Yeah. Or maybe a wizard was a fucking drug dealer. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. The wizard was a drug dealer giving people mushrooms and they were like. Giving like potions thinking like he was crazy. He was oh, fucking crazy. Dude. It's like, dude, you made me see like outer space. It's like, yeah, yeah. dude, I'm a fucking wizard, dude. Wizards were drug dealers. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm fucking. Wizards were drug dealers. 100%. They would give things to people, the king, and the king would see out fucking outer space and just be like, oh, my God, this world was so small. It's, it's, oh, I saw the stars. I was amongst a, a comet. What's a comet? Yeah. You don't know what a comet? You don't know what a fucking Take comet this is? this fucking mushroom. Yeah, they would have, like, vision, visions and shit. Visions. Yeah. That's what it was. Wizards were drug dealers. Wizards were drug dealers. 100%. Right? Yeah. I can't, believe I, I can't believe I never thought about it. In that case... I rescind my statement. I would not be a wizard because I'm not a drug dealer. You have not one dark drug dealer bone in your body. Nah, I would. You would be. You would squeal. Mm. No, nah, I think you know what you would be. You would be the fucking prince. You would be a guy who like is rich. Like our parents are rich, and you're just like kicking it there. Nah, I would, yes, I would be a squire. What's a squire? Like the. You sound like a fucking squire. Like a squire is like you sound the like a square. Like the knights, like homie. Like the the person like the knight the yeah guy yeah like the knight would like go on like crazy like adventures and he'd bring like a squire with him he and you would like, be the one telling him like being the common sense yeah let's get out of here yeah that would yeah. be I would be a fucking squire Alexis bro. let's go we shouldn't go in that cave <laughs> and he's just like Shoo. he's all you must come with me oh <laughs> and you bring out your little fucking knife your knife was like this big yeah get your little knife <laughs> ready to kill a squirrel <laughs> this guy's fucking. <laughs> Long yeah, ass, thick ass knife. <laughs> you're, you're behind him, Christopher. Ooh. Christopher, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christopher, a, the knife. Weird ass name, Noel. No. Christopher. And I would be like Gus. 
Yeah, Abby Gus. Abby. Christopher and Gus. Christopher and Gus. Shut up, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I never understood about like those uh back in those days, like the knights and stuff, like mm. the way that they would fight. Mm -hmm. That sucks for the guy who's in the front of the line. Like oh. I wouldn't like where would you be in that whole lineup? I'm in the you know what I would be? I'd be the archer. Yes. Yes. This is a middle back. prayer. Dude. I'm going to be up in the fucking tower. In the back. Fucking. And just. Psh, prah, prah, and then fucking take breaks. Eat my little nuts and berries. Yeah. And, and just watch the war for a bit. And like, yeah. Oh, I need fucking help. Hold on. <laughs> fucking, if I can reach that far. Fucking air support. <laughs> like, oh, I got one of our guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fucking. Like, you know, I would be that guy. The yeah. Archer. I wouldn't be. Mr. Front of the Line. Hell hero. no. Why? Hell no. No, thank you. No. I never understood that. I, I, I love the movies, though, when they... It's such a good moment. The fucking lead is right there with... with the Amongst the people. Yeah. He's like, We will fight for our honor! Fucking Braveheart. Ah! They were going... Shoo, shoo. He's in the fucking desmadre, dude. And just yeah. fighting people. Loses his sword and just starts kicking ass. Starts throwing hands. Yeah, starts throwing hands. Yeah. He's out here fucking throwing hands. Boom. And I love how, like, they would fight, like, how I would fight in fifth grade. Mm. They would swing and yeah. not, not protect their face. They just fucking would swing. Bah, get hit. Bam. Bah, get hit. They never fucking put the dukes up. Like, mm -mm. Well, they're in the fucking the armor, the fucking yeah. all metal armor, but you can't That's move. Heavy around. As shit, right? Yeah, you can't move. Yeah. You're, f you're flailing. You're flailing your arms. You're just, like, sorry. Can't you're just like throwing shit and hoping it lands. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be that guy with that. Uh, the worst weapon, I think, amongst those people is that guy with the chain and the ball. Oh, dude. get out of here, dude. What the fuck is that doing? What are you doing? Get, get, what are you fucking doing? Because you, you got to wind that shit up. Yeah. And like, if you have someone behind you, you're fucking taking you're out gonna your hit one of your own guys. You're taking out your homie's head. Fuck, dude. I never understood that guy. Mm -hmm. You have to give up. What if you like you miss? Yeah. You're fucked. Mm -hmm. You need to be accurate with that one hit. Yeah. And that thing is heavy as shit. Oh, dude. You swing that three times, I'm done. My fucking yeah. arms are killing me. That's terrible. Terrible weapon. Who has that weapon? Yeah. Terrible. I don't know. Whoever Arch made up that weapon needs to fucking... <sighs> Off with his head! Archers are where it's at. Yeah. I'd be an archer. An archer is definitely with that. Like, an archer was a badass. Yeah. An archer was like the sniper. Like, who kicks back, comes in, and just fucking... That's the one you want to go get a beer with after the war. Yeah, archers have seen some shit. Yeah. They're fucking seeing both sides. They saw the fucking war, and they saw the fucking, the comic folk crying and shit. Yeah. All the men that didn't go to the war, the bitch fucking dudes in the back crying. <laughs> saw the prince over there worried. <gasps> Pussy ass motherfucker. <laughs> like he's, he's over here putting, throwing us into war. Yeah. You know which war I would have never wanted to be a part of? I would have been like, nah, dog. That's your problem. Mm -hmm. The Trojan War. The Trojan War? Yeah. Fuck you. You Dude. want me to fight for your bitch? Yeah. You want me to wait, wait, you want me to fight for for your bitch? Yeah. Cause you went out there and felt like a horn dog and wanted to fuck. Yeah, that's not my problem, bro. That's your problem. <laughs> what wait, what? <laughs> no. Am yeah. I Am I gonna fuck her? No. Am I gonna get a piece of that? No. Then I'm out. Then you're stuck in a fucking horse for no who knows how long. Why am I here? Like, what the fuck am I doing here? We're in a fucking horse right now. It smells like ass. It smells like ass. No, but we've been fighting for fucking days. No one's been showering. Then you I got an ass right here, an ass right here. There's ass everywhere. Stuck in this tiny ass fucking horse. It's not the good ass. No. It's rough ass. Mm-mm. Ugh. That's not a war I would want to be a part of. Yeah. I would be so pissed if they sent me to war. Wait, we're, why do we're fighting? Like, you're in the beach? They probably didn't tell the people what, mm. what it was about. Mm -mm. Oh, it's right. We're going to get land. Hell yeah. This is now we're going to have a beachfront property. Fuck yeah, I'm down with that. <laughs> and then you get to the beach and they're just like camping, fucking eating a, a mouse that you found in the fucking tent, cooking it up. And the guy's like, you know what we're here for, right? There's always that guy who knows the deep secrets. Yeah. You know, Mr. Negative guy. They're like, what do you mean? He's like, dude, we're here because he's trying to, he's fucking the guy's bitch, dude. <sighs> Wait, what? I would be out of there. Bye. I would steal a fucking boat. Yeah. I'll be doing this. Back to my fucking country. You're out. Fucking rolling back. Mm -hmm. I'm not there. Which war would you fight for? Oh, I just had this conversation with some of my friends of like which war I would you would like want to participate in. I think, but I'm talking about medieval wars. Medi medieval wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, probably low key. I think I would want to be like a fucking like like samurai. 
you know? Like, so like a and those, like Asian like, Japanese like wars? the Japanese wars between like dynasties and shit. I feel oh, like that would be ring. Nah, that would be tight. If I had to choose one of those wars, I would pick the one with the fucking Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. What is that? Part three? Or like the what about like the fucking like the Crusades? But I don't even know what that is. Like uh it was like the like the religious wars. What? That was religious wars? Yeah. Like, wow, no. like the Catholics just went on like fucking. That's like, a stupid tired. war. That's a stupid ass war. Okay, what's like a smart war then? All war is stupid. Yeah, not really, not really. The smartest war that I would fight for would be for Game of Thrones, okay. Battle of the Bastards. Okay, now we're talking. I I'm I'm a part of that war because it's a part about these fucking guys who are trying to take over our our way of living, and the underdogs. Need to come through and just beat these fucking bad guys. That's the war. We're fighting against the people in the fucking, you know, the snow people, what are they called? The, the fucking, the walkers? Mm. Yeah. They're trying to kill humans? I'm fighting for that war. The Independence Day War. I mean, now we're, we're getting out of fucking. Uh, I was going to say, I thought we were talking about real shit. Yeah, my bad. What do you mean, real shit? Game of Thrones. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, all right. Real shit. Okay, real shit, real shit, real shit, real shit. It would be with uh, which okay out of Alex Alexander. Oh, okay, fight. I will fight for Alexander. Alexander the Great. Yeah, Alexander the Great. I would fight for him. Which war? He's a gay cupcake. Which war do you think you would have the best shot of surviving in? I think about this all the time. The best war that I would like right now, no training, no nothing. If somebody were to like drop you in a war, do you think like which one do you think you're surviving? Oh, like any time, any any, any, any war, war, any time, any, any war. war. It would be the Caveman Day Wars. <laughs> you have the advantage. Yeah. You know how to use a fucking stick? I would just be like, hey, dude, we don't have to fight with these. Just use a stick. Yeah. And then I would just find a way to have, like, uh, I'll find a tree that has leaves that are, like, rubbery. Mm. and make my own little fucking. So he's fucking coming at me. And then, <laughs> a little slingshot. And he, like, thinks it's stupid. He's like, what is that flimsy-ass leaf? And then he runs at me, and I just fucking. Bop, pop him in the head. It's like, oh shit. Yeah. Then they think you're a god. Yeah. Then you rule. And I'll take his fucking hairy bitch and I'll <laughs> take all his fucking, all his goods. I wonder, like, when I go, when I think back to those times, like caveman days, like, I wonder, like, what, what would be the food that I would eat? Like, what would I eat? What were they eating? Yeah. They were just eating simple shit. They were probably eating raw meat. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they didn't know about like cooking they didn't know, like fire and shit. And also, when you cook like raw meat, it kind of tastes kind of gross without salt. Mm -hmm. You gotta have some fucking seasonings. Yeah. So that would be fucking crazy, right? Like, They're eating like fucking like saber tooth tigers uh, and shit. It's like mammoths. I don't know, man. We're just spoiled. We are. We know how to cook shit. Yeah. Do you think you're living in the best era? I think about this all the time. I feel like... Is this the best era? You're in the best era, you think? In terms of... Information? Right. Yes. Like, mm, like, yeah. like 50 years ago, like, if you didn't know something, you didn't know something. Like, you're like, oh, I wonder how that works. Like, and, like, you would never know. Mm. You can never figure it out. You just like, have an idea. Yeah. You have an idea of how things work, but you can never know for sure. But like right uh, now a theory. If you if you wanna like, oh, I wonder how that works, you can just look it up and then you know. Mm. And like cause like knowledge is just like at our fingertips. But like then I also think is like, is that a good thing though? Like are we meant to like know everything? Mm. Or would I rather live in like the fifties and like be, be unaware clueless of things. Be clueless of fucking everything around me and All just right. live a simple life. You get a stomach ache, you fucking drink Coca Cola. What? Yeah, this is the worst thing you do. Yeah, oh, it helps stomach aches. Like, what? Yeah. Wow. That's what I think about. It. Like, okay. I think like in terms of like advancements, like right now is like the best time, but like I also think that's like a double edged sword. We're like we're not meant to know everything. Ah, you think so? Because yeah. then people start acting like they know everything. Yeah. Yeah. Then you get all like flicks. existential and shit. Well, I feel like right now I feel that I don't know who to believe because mm. everybody talks like they have the facts right and then i realize the people that have the facts are lying and manipulating you to think that 
this is real. Right. But they don't really have the facts. No. So then who do I believe? Exactly. Which news network do I tune in? Because they're both, they're all lying in a way. Mm -hmm. They're giving you a version of what they think the news is. It's like, it's like you're living in an apartment and someone has cheese mitt, mm -hmm. right? But this comadre says the cheese made this way. This comadre says the cheese made this way. This comadre another way. Which comadre are you going to listen to? Right. The one who tells the cheese made like this? Mm. Or the one that's going to exaggerate a little bit like this? The one who's going to add a little bit more information that's not true? She's giving it to me like her opinion on it. Yeah. And it's like, wait, who am I going to believe? Or how am I going to believe this? You this? can't get the facts anymore. Right? A fucking car crash happens. Them three bitches saw it. Mm-hmm. Then they come up to you and you're like, hey, what happened? No, el señor andaba, uh, andaba manejando muy fuerte. They, they crashed and then he got hurt and the ambulance came. Oh, that's crazy. All right. Nah, this car was in front of him. Fucking, he made, had a swerve, hits the fucking thing. Turns out he was drunk because mm. he fucking shunned his wife because he went partying. That's why. He's a fucking racist. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> shit. I didn't know anything about that. That's crazy. Yeah. But now I believe this fucking weird th theory. Yeah. The other one is just like, yeah, we believe that it uh, turns out that he actually uh, is blind. And that's what happened. He was forced to do it. He was he was actually getting kidnapped and then jumped in a car and drove. But he doesn't know how to drive. But wow. he's actually a hero. So like, what do you believe? Which narrative do I take? You're living in a crazy world. So which which era would you like to live in? I'm going. I'm going. Uh, no, because fifties, ah, uh, dude. Because fifties, yeah. you're getting drafted. You know what I mean? I think. Fuck. I think about like the eighties. Mm -hmm. You're also getting drafted. Are you the eighties? Vietnam. The 80s. That was in the eighties, brother. What was Nam? That was uh, I think it was the sixties. Sixties? Yeah, brother. Uh, I'm going eighties for sure. Yeah, 80s is like there was no I think the Gulf War or like uh like the Cold War or that was like the Cold War? Yeah. Was that the 80s? Yeah, maybe it was the 80s. 70s, 80s. Something like that. I don't know. But uh I don't know. So I you don't, don't want anything that has to do with wars, what you say? Fuck no, I'm not trying to get you to get out of that. What you doing now? Do you live in this this day? <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so you just do the 80s. I'll do the 80s. Yeah, you look like you'll survive the 80s. 80, 80s seem chill. 80s in California, you'd be perfect then. Yeah. 80s New York, you wouldn't survive a day. Mm, no, no. You wouldn't survive a day. There's no way. Have no. you seen Ninja Turtles fucking part one? Oh, my God. <laughs> scary, scary world. Scary as hell. No, nah, I would, uh, I think that I would love to live in the 50s. Simple. I don't think I would have been a comedian. I would have just kept it cool. I just would have had a normal job, bust my ass off. Very Work at good. the factories. Work at the factories. Get, you know, a pension afterwards. Chill. Come home to your six kids. Come to my, have a big-ass house. Yeah. I could afford it. For You paid $12,000 for it. Not even that. It's probably like fucking $700 for a fucking mansion. For fucking five-bedroom house. Yeah, dude. Milk at this time is like 10 cents. <laughs> a hamburger, a fucking hamburger was like, what, six cents, seven uh, cents? And like a nickel. Yeah. Sluts <laughs> were like fucking... <laughs> 50 cents? That's it. <laughs> Maybe if that. What about the 20s? I feel like the 20s are interesting. Ooh, when is the 20s? What, was what like, era is the 20s? That was like when girls were like... Ash, eh? That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, the 20s? Everybody was wearing suits. And like see, like Great Gatsby. You ever seen Great Gatsby? Yeah. No, I haven't seen it, but I've heard about that. 1920s? 1920s. 1920s. But I feel like it would only be chill. 1920s fashion. Would, oh, yeah, the Great Gatsby. It would only be chill if you're rich, though. Like, if you're poor during the 20s, you're having a shit time because that was, like, Great Depression. But if you're rich, you're chilling. Yeah, if you're if you're rich, like, it's cool. But, but that's, I feel like it's, like, any time period. I don't know, dude. No, I don't know if I would do that. Like, is, is there a Look time? at all these bad bitches in the fucking 1920s. They all look gross. Yeah. They look they look worn out. Look up flappers. Yeah, no, I did. Look, look at... These are the hot girls. These are the hot... These are bad bitches in the 1920s. No thanks. You know what? Yeah, you're right. I'm no going, fucking thanks, yeah, dude. I'm going 70s. Look at, look at fucking, there's Esther. There's fucking <laughs> Tabitha. You know what? Wo 70s, go to Woodstock. Yeah. I'll do that. Nah, you see, there's a lot of hairy bitches out there, dude. I don't, I don't know about that. Really? Yeah, dude. Wood, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, 80s. 80s, locking it in. I'm locking in 80s.
You're sticking with the 80s, huh? I'm sticking with the 80s. I'll do 50s for sure. Mm. For sure, I'll do 50s. I'll nah. do 50s, and then I would uh, I would be a fucking greaser. Mm. Relighting. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be a fucking badass for sure. I would have like a white tee, tucked in shirt, belt, mm-hmm. these type of jeans. Yeah. And the fucking the thing with cigarette. I'll be a smoker. I'll be a drunk. I'll have a little fast ass little car. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That I'll, I'll be the bad guy of every 50s movies. I would be, <laughs> <laughs> be like the bully. The bully. I would be, I'd be like uh, with a toothpick. For no reason. Yeah, yeah. Toothpick haven't had a steak in fucking months. But I have a toothpick for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I like that guy. Damn. I'll probably learn like man shit, like how to fucking fix a car from scratch. Yeah. Or how to make a car from scratch. They're all mechanics. Oh, everyone's everybody will, that, that's when men were men. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> now you can't fucking now you ain't shit. If you don't a guy who gets laid at this day and age is a guy. Who can fix your iPhone? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, he gets pussy. Nerds get <laughs> pussy nowadays. Nerds right now, get pussy. Right now is the era for the nerds, dude. The nerds are getting fucking puss. Look at Pete Davidson getting uh, Kim Kardashian, all these Ice Spice bitches. Yeah, that's so true. The cool guys. Who are the cool guys now? The nerds. The nerds. God damn it! Think about like all the famous actors. Those are all like fucking theater kids. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fucking uh, now they're pants on the guns. Now they're all heartthrobs and shit. Heartthrobs. Like fucking like Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, that guy's piping, dude. Dude, getting, went, uh, and he went to fucking like Juilliard. Kylie Jenner, right? Yeah, Juilliard. He went to Juilliard. And he's, he's my fucking, favorite though. I'm not gonna lie. He's very really good. He's fucking good. I like that guy. I like that Timothy Chalamet. I like him. He's cool. He's a cool guy. He is a cool guy because he's a theater kid. He's a nerd. Yeah, I knew he was gonna be great. What what movie did I watch that I was like, oh, this guy's gonna be a fucking star? I had to be. The first one I saw with him in it was uh, Lady Bird. Lady Bird? Yeah. No, I saw him in. Um, I saw him in that fucking movie. Uh... God damn it! I can't remember the fucking movie. The uh, Who else was in it? Interstellar. Inter- he was in Interstellar. He was in Interstellar. Yeah, he no was way. one of the kids. Yeah, he was Interstellar. He was the son, and then he was in uh, Beautiful Boy. Oh, Beautiful Boy! Yeah, and Beautiful Boy's really, really good. Got me. That's when I was like, all right, I'll fuck him. Yeah. What? Um, yeah. Big time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Interstellar. Right. Yeah. He was a fucking interstellar. What That's crazy. It? Yep. Knew it. Damn. Got I it. I haven't seen it in a while. I forgot he was in that. All right, dude. So who, which artist are you piping? Like which, uh, let's go with, um, actresses. Actresses. Oh, Who's like, I want to know what kind of, what's your, what's your taste? Which actress are you Ten, piping down every day. Ten out of ten, Anna de Armas. I knew. I I don't even know why I said this. I knew you were gonna give me a name that I was like I have to research and look it up. You don't I, know who Anna? I've seen Blade the, Runner. No. What? We don't like the same movies. I like fucking action movies. Drug them with man shit. She's in the action movies. What's her name? Anna A N A. Well, the kids we follow. Anna two, del de d e. Okay, I got it. She came up. She came up. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. No, she's a piece. I told you. She's fucking hot. Yes. She's got like uh, those mystery eyes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, for sure, dude. She's beautiful. Yeah, she's the type of girl you would fucking do missionary for sure. <laughs> I'm trying to see that face, bro. Or like... Um, Is that who you would marry? I think she's a Mary. You'll marry her. I'll lock that down. That or Jenna Ortega. Yeah, she, okay. I can see you. Like, cause that's like, I can she's, see like she's like my age. She's like, yeah. I could see why young kids are like her. Mm. I could see that. Like, yeah, for sure. Mm. I can see that. You know which girl I would marry? Like, I've always, I've always had a crush on her. I always thought she was beautiful. I was like, hands down, she would be the girl I would marry. Which was Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba was like, the perfect girl for me. Yeah. I was like, she's beautiful. Yeah. Cute face. Beautiful. In fanta- nice body. In Fantastic Looks Four. Looks funny. In Fantastic Four, she's so good. Oh, she's fucking not only good. She's amazing, dude. Yeah. I love me some Jessica Alba. Oh, my God. The things I'll do, I have no idea. 
Damn. Like she has kids now and like a full blown mom. Yeah. And I'm still like, uh, yeah, I'll leave my family for her <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, she's a, she's a fucking hottie boot. She got she got a hottie body. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Jessica Alba. <laughs> Jessica Alba. Now, which guy would you fuck? Hey, dude, don't get weird. Channing Tatum. Oh, come on. He's overrated. What? I feel like Channing Tatum oh, would smash. Wait, universal answer, though? Ryan Reynolds. Ooh. Ask any guy, at least my age, ask any guy. If they had to fuck any guy celebrity, they would say Ryan Reynolds. No. You see, that's how I know you're gay, because you're telling me someone that you will fall in love with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about just fuck, dude. You're making it. You're making it too real. You're making right. it, You're getting inside your heart. Who would you then? I was like, uh, let me see your great answer. Oh fuck it. Who would I smash? <sighs> Tyrese. No, I'm just kidding. Whoa. Whoa! No. Uh, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. No. Shaq. Shaq. No, dude. Ouch. I would. Ouch. <laughs> I would smash probably. Wait, Ryan Reynolds, you said? Yeah. Ryan Gosling. Oh, okay, that's number two. Ryan Reynolds and Ryan Gosling. The two Ryans. This guy, you just fucking taking my fucking guys. <laughs> He's my man. No, just, stop taking my man, dude. Okay, He's my man. Fuck. Yeah, no. No, yeah, Ryan Gosling for sure. For sure. What about Michael Sarah? That guy's a dweeb. <laughs> he gets bitches, though. I know. I heard he gets bitches, yeah. It's fine. Nerds. Everybody loves the nerds. <laughs> That's the thing is, do girls do girls not want to get fucked anymore? <laughs> do they not want to get like? They want someone that's gonna listen to them. Yeah, like do they do they not like want someone's gonna just fucking choke them down and fucking rip shit off and just give them a good fucking? Or do they just want a boring ass fuck? Who who's saying that the nerds aren't like that though? Guy, let me tell you right now, he is not like that. Stop trying to defend Michael Cera like he's you out here piping bitches. don't know, though, bro. He could be a dog, bro. He is you know. no dog. That little pup <laughs> is not being a dog out here, right? If he was a fucking, if he was, he's a, still a puppy, dude. He's afraid. There's a hole in the fence where all the puppies are, mm. and he's afraid to sneak out. I don't he's know. like, he's that dog that stays. Like, there's fucking eight puppies. You go inside. You hang out for an hour, right? You come back outside. Four of them are gone. Mm. He's one of the fucking, like he's one of the fours that are just staying there. I don't know. I think I think Michael. Like he's probably. I think he's a dog. I'm scared of shit. He ain't no dog. He ain't no real it's, dog out here. It's always the nerdy ones. They're not piping, dude. They're just like they, they're using these guys as like a kind of like an outfit, mm. right? They're just like, oh, they're just their vibe. Yeah, maybe they're a cool hang. They're they're, they're they're what's hot right now. Yeah. These dumb bitches are listening to fucking Kim Kardashian. Whoever Kim Kardashian fucks is like, I'm going to fuck something like that. I just want to feel what she's feeling. <laughs> yeah. A guy who smells like armpits, who kind of smells like he showers, yeah. he doesn't. It's weird. Weird conversations. Knows about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, yeah. Mm. He's not fucking dog. He ain't fucking right, dude. That's why I'm sick and tired of these girls. They're not, they're not, they're not trying to get fucked anymore. What's going on? Maybe. Yeah, dude. When I was in fucking high school, there was there was dogs out here. Mm. Ow, ow, ow. There was fucking dogs. Yeah, dude. We were in high school. We were fucking. Yeah, but like all the music that was coming out then was just all about fucking. Why do you think I'm so fired up, dude? I'm fucking at a ten. My horn dog level was like. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I was at the club grabbing girls. Like, hey, what's up? Come here real quick. Grabbing their wrist. Hey, come here. Like, what the fuck? Hey, come on. Fucking touch that shit. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, what the fuck? Get over here. No. No. Get the fuck. Oh, my God. What is that? No, I can't. Yeah, that's right. That's a dog, baby. Arr, arr, arr. I think we're gonna have to censor that entire thing. That was a bit much. Fuck that, dude. That Put that much. shit on, dude. That was a that's, bit much. That's the fucking early two thousands, baby. Damn. They like that shit. No. Yes. Not anymore. Yeah. There's certain okay, but here's the thing. I will say this to defend myself. 
There is girls that like that shit. Yeah, true. And that was the girls that I could just I can walk in a club and I can tell who's the girl that likes that shit. I could be like the girl who's like having a conversation with her friend by the bar, who's dancing like this, very conservative. I'm like, yeah, she's not really. The two girls that are dancing with each other, grinding on each other, eh, not really. The girl who's right there in the corner with those fucking eyes mm. that are low and she's showing a little bit, but she has something dark about her. Mm. She wants that shit. That's who you go with. That's the girl you go over there and you just fucking grab her. No. Oh my God. Fuck. Find a room. Bitch, let's go. Nine times out of ten. Damn. There's that one though. There's that one. Like, There's that one. Like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The fuck you did? No, I'm kidding. But yeah, but like, dude, I and back in the day, the girls were a little bit more wanting to be aggressive with shit. Like they liked aggressive guys. It was the if music. you were a simp, mm. they weren't fucking with no simps, I'll tell you that much. When I was out here clubbing, they liked aggressive guys. Now they're fucking writing books about how, I, I don't know if I like that. They didn't respect me. Fuck that. When we were clubbing, you liked that shit. That's what you were going for. Mm. You wore that tight ass dress so we can walk by and people be like, God damn, it's a fat ass. God damn. And you were like, you're stupid. Shut the fuck up. Damn. I think it was the music for sure. And the music facilitated that culture. Every song back then was about smashing. It's true. And yeah, nowadays, like everybody's listening to like fucking like sad shit, pop music, Ed Sheeran, <laughs> Chip Brown. Yeah. yeah, like who's the hardest rapper for you? Right now, hardest rapper, probably like Travis Scott. But, like even then, like they don't really. He's not even talking about like. No, he's he'll like... say something like fucking the baddest bitch in the game, but like but he sounds like he's loyal to his girl. Yeah. <sighs> I guess. These have changed, and I I'm wa- accepting it. I wanted to say Meek Mill, but I guess we can't say oh, Meek Mill anymore. Oh, he got fucked out here, dude. <laughs> can't say doing, Meek Mill anymore. He's doing butt stuff, dude. What the <sighs> fuck? Damn. Wow. Meek Mill ain't hard anymore. Oh, <laughs> he's getting fucking... He's hard in different places. Something, that something's much. hard. Something else is hard for different reasons. <sighs> fuck, man. I still can't get over that, even though it was a while back. But I didn't even know... I like. I bet all his friends and Meek Mill's friends are like, oh, fuck, no wonder we're playing basketball <laughs> It was a little too, hey, reaching foul, bro. Reaching too, too touchy. <laughs> yeah, dude. That guy was getting a hard on when we were playing basketball. What the fuck was that about? Yeah, yeah. So, I guess, uh, I guess times have changed, which is fine. Yeah, which is great. I'm just giving you a glimpse of what I went through, brother. Yeah, it's why so much, I am the way so, I am. So different. So different. Time flies. Yeah, dude. Time fucking flies, dude. Look where we're at now. Now you can't even say hello to a chick before she's like. That was not a consensual hello. Like, what? <laughs> what I just said good morning. Yeah, but I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready. I wasn't accepting your good morning. <laughs> so technically, you just forced your good morning on me. So I'm going to write you up for that. Damn. Like, bitch, damn. What the fuck? Can I buy you a coffee? You don't think I can afford a coffee? Back <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Ugh. Anyways, well, that's the world we're living in. And that is the episode for today. Uh, this was a, a bit raunchy, but you know what? Yeah. Put it out. Put it out. The world, it, need, the world needs to know. They need to know, dude. Let us know what you think. Yeah, fucking put it on the comments. Let me know, yeah. let me know if you like it or not. Who cares? <laughs> that is the episode for this week. Thank you so much. Peace out. Till next time. All right. See y'all. Peace. Peace.